Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and in this video you will learn how we can create custom styles for a slicer. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created uh, different styles for slicer. This is a slicer and here you can see uh, this is the slicer for location and the style is some different and the same slicer I have copied here, but here I have given some different style here some different and here some different style and I would like to show you uh, a table this is a table I have created this slicer for this table these all the slicer has been created for location column but I have uh, put different design for each slicer so you can see here here and here all right friends so I'll tell you how can you create this customize slicer in microsoft excel so let's start let's say i have this data i'll copy this and go to the new worksheet so we can create a table or we can create a pivot table so i will create a pivot table for this data select go to insert click on pivot table and click ok a new pivot table has been created just put location here sales here and we will insert a slicer so go to the insert and then go to the slicer this is slicer and here uh, we will let's say insert slicer for location so now i have put this slicer in default that is why it is available here you can choose any style from here if you want to create your own style so this are the custom slicer which I have created now I'll tell you from the starting how can you create a custom slicer so click on new slicer style first click here and now here you can give the formatting for whole slicer and click on format so I don't want to give any formatting for whole slicer so I'll click on header I want to give this formatting for header so I'll go to the formatting here let's say i want to make the header bold i will keep the font size as 12 and i want to keep some different font like arial black and font color let's say i want to keep some other color so i'll go to the more color here i'll choose uh, let's say this teal color this one click on ok i want uh, underline on the header so I'll select this single or let's say double like this click on ok so we have given the formatting for header now we'll give the formatting for selected item for data so whatever the uh, uh, item will be selected in the slicer this formatting will be for that so go to the format now here I'll select let's say I want to keep the font italic and bold for selected item and i want to keep the font size as 11 and the font color i will keep some light color like this because i'll give some fill color so i'll go to the fill and i'll go to the fill effects here in fill effects i'll choose this black first then i'll choose some other color like this green uh, this blue this one then here uh, the variants are available i'll choose this one click on ok then i'll go to the border i'll choose this border double line and the color i'll choose this one click on the outline this ok now i'll give the same formatting for selected data with no item so i'll go to the format choose this and the font bold italic and color this one in the fill go to the fill and effects first i'll choose the black and then this blue i'll choose this variant click on ok all right so now we have given uh, the formatting for selected data now for the unselected data i'll give the formatting for unselected data let's say i want to give uh, some some gray color like this this color and border i'll want to keep uh, some gray dark gray border this one 
like this and font i want to keep as it is so click on ok the same formatting i'll give to selected item with no data so i'll give the border dark gray and outline this one and we fill some this gray color all right now we will give the formatting for uh, the hover selected item so when we will hover our mouse on the item then what should be the formatting so select first one go to the format let's say i want to mark the font bold italic uh, this bold italic and font i want to keep as red for selected data this is for selected data click on ok and same formatting i want to keep here red ok for unselected data i want to change the border color only let's say i want to change the border as red rest i want to keep remain same so i'll keep the border as red click on ok so our formatting is ready now go to the style so we have created this formatting we keep it as slicer style 5 click on this so now this is the style all right friend if i will hover this then it will show like this let me remove the grid lines first from the worksheet and it will look like this if i will go to the data let me keep some other location like india and uk and then i will refresh this and you will be able to see this so this slicer will look like this if you will hover then it will look like this if i will click on india let's say then india will be selected rest will be unselected unselected item will display like this if i will hover on the unselected item then color of border will be changed you can see and when i will hover at selected item which is india then it will look like this in red so just like this you can give your own formatting whatever you want to give all the options are available and if you want to remove the header let's say let me copy this and i will paste here and if i want to remove the header this location word then i'll go to the slicer setting and i'll uncheck this display header and this will look like this now we can go to the option and we can change the height like this and we can take the bit like this so it will look like buttons all right so it is looking like buttons friends i hope you have enjoyed this video friends thank you so much for the watching